Eighth grade open up resources. Illustrative mathematics. Unit two, lesson nine. Side length quotients in similar triangles. Problem number one. These two triangles are similar. What are A and B? Note the two figures are not drawn to scale. They're asking us to find the side lengths for A and B. Since these two triangles are similar, we know that the triangles have the same angle measures, and we also know that the corresponding side lengths have the same ratio. The side length of 4 on the right-hand side triangle is the corresponding side length to the side length 10 on the triangle on the left. This means that the ratio is 4 tenths, or a ratio of 4 to 10. The scale factor is 2 and 5 tenths, or 2 and a half, because 10 is 2 and a half times larger than 4. Now that we know that the scale factor is 2 and 5 tenths, we can find the missing side lengths for A and B. 4 is the corresponding side length for 10, A is the corresponding side length for 15, and 9 is the corresponding side length for B. 4 times 2 and a half equals 10, and 10 divided by 2 and a half equals 4. We can use this same strategy to find A. 15 divided by 2 and a half equals A, and 15 divided by 2 and a half equals 6. So the missing length for A is 6 units. 9 times the scale factor 2 and a half equals B, and 9 times 2 and a half equals 22.5 or 22 and a half. The missing side length for B is 22 and a half. Problem number two. Here is triangle ABC. Triangle XYZ is similar to ABC with scale factor 1 fourth. A. Draw what triangle XYZ might look like. Triangle XYZ would look four times smaller than triangle ABC. So each side length for triangle XYZ would be four times shorter than each of the corresponding side lengths for triangle ABC. B. How do the angle measures of triangle XYZ compare to triangle ABC? Explain how you know. The angles are the same measures because they are similar triangles. Similar triangles have the same angle measures. C. What are the side lengths of triangle XYZ? The corresponding side lengths will be four times smaller than the side lengths of ABC. Four divided by four, or four times smaller than four, is one. So the corresponding side length would be one unit. And four times smaller than a side length that is seven units would be seven fourths, or seven divided by four, which is one and three fourths. The corresponding side length would be seven fourths, or equivalent. Four times smaller than a side length of five would be five fourths, or equivalent. The corresponding side length on triangle XYZ would be five fourths. D. For triangle XYZ, calculate long side divided by medium side and compare to triangle ABC. 7 fourths divided by 5 fourths. That's equivalent to 7 fourths times 4 fifths, or the reciprocal of 5 fourths. And 7 fourths times 4 fifths is equivalent to 7 over 1 times 1 fifth or seven-fifths. Now let's compare that to seven divided by five. And seven divided by five is seven-fifths. They are the same. Problem number three. The two triangles shown are similar. Find the value of D over C, which is also known as D divided by C. Since the two triangles are similar, 7.5 divided by 9 will be equal to D divided by C. And 7.5 divided by 9 is equivalent to 5 sixths. 
So D over C or D divided by C equals 5 sixths or equivalent like 7.5 over 9 or 15 over 18. Those are also equivalent to 5 sixths. Problem number four from eighth grade unit two lesson five. The diagram shows two nested triangles that share a vertex. Find a center and a scale factor for a dilation that would move the larger triangle to the smaller triangle. The smaller triangle is nested inside the larger triangle and it looks like a good center point would be coordinates negative one, positive one. A dilation moving from the larger triangle to the smaller triangle would have a scale factor of one fifth because the smaller triangle is five times smaller than the larger triangle. Here's another look at the same lesson. Eighth grade, open up resources, illustrative mathematics, unit two, lesson nine, side length quotients in similar triangles. Problem number one, these two triangles are similar. What are A and B? Note, the two figures are not drawn to scale. Simply rearranging these triangles makes it a lot easier to find their corresponding sides. Side length 10 corresponds with side length four, and I know that 10 is two and a half times larger than four. And this tells me that the scale factor is two and a half, or two and five tenths. Now that I know the scale factor, I can find the missing side lengths. 15 divided by the scale factor, two and five tenths, equals A. Since 15 divided by two and five tenths equals six, the length for A is six units. Side length B divided by the scale factor two and five tenths equals nine. I can find the value for B by multiplying nine times the scale factor two and five tenths. The missing side length for B is 22 and five tenths. Problem number two. Here is triangle ABC. Triangle XYZ is similar to ABC with scale factor 1 fourth. A. Draw what triangle XYZ might look like. With a scale factor of 1 fourth, XYZ would look four times smaller than ABC. B. How do the angle measures of triangle XYZ compared to triangle ABC. Explain how you know. Angle measures remain the same in similar triangles, so the angle measures are unchanged. C. What are the side lengths of triangle XYZ? The side lengths of XYZ would be four times shorter or four times smaller than their corresponding side lengths. Four divided by four equals one, 5 divided by 4 equals 5 fourths, and 7 divided by 4 equals 7 fourths. D. For triangle XYZ, calculate long side divided by medium side and compare to triangle ABC. 7 fourths divided by 5 fourths is equal to 7 divided by 5. The result is the same, or the result is equal. Problem number three. The two triangles shown are similar. Find the value of D over C or D divided by C. The value of D divided by C is equal to the value of seven and five tenths divided by nine. Seven and five tenths divided by nine is equal to 15 over 18 or 15 divided by 18, which equals five sixths. The value of D over C is 5 sixths, or equivalent, like 7.5 over 9, or 15 over 18. Problem number four from eighth grade, unit two, lesson five. The diagram shows two nested triangles that share a vertex. Find a center and a scale factor for a dilation that would move from the large triangle to the smaller triangle. The smaller triangle is nested inside the larger triangle. 
a good center point looks like it would be at coordinates negative one and one. With the dilation going from the larger triangle to the smaller triangle, the scale factor would be one-fifth because the smaller triangle is five times smaller than the larger triangle.